welcome back to my channel my name is kayla if you're new i film hygiene fragrance and lifestyle related videos so if that's something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit those post notification bells so you'll always know when i upload a new video make sure you follow me on instagram and just kayla michelle give me a like on facebook by the same name so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the couple of fragrances that i took on my trip with me if you do not know by now i am in utah and i just decided to bring a couple of fragrances with me because i'm going to be here probably for about a month and then i'm going back home so i didn't really bring very many things at all because for one i know i'm going to be shopping and for two i couldn't bring all that on the plane so i had to condense some stuff down so if i'm talking kind of quiet it's because these walls are literally paper thin and i'm sitting right by the door and it's awkward but i'm gonna do my best to push through so if you want to see what i brought with me just keep watching so this is not going to be in any particular order whatsoever and a disclaimer i literally forgot all of my rollerball perfumes which really hurt my heart because i was gonna pair some scents and i was gonna have them by themselves or whatever but it just did not work out and i forgot them all on a sock on my bed and it's probably just sitting there looking like mommy why did you leave me why don't you take me with you so anywho the first thing that i have here this is the sweet vanilla fig lotion from philosophy and i did pick this up from marshall's so you probably will see this in your marshall's because i've been seeing a lot of people picking this up here lately so it is widely available and i've been seeing people pick this up in the shower gel and things like that so if i had to compare this to anything I would kind of compare this to sweet whiskey like this can be like a cousin to sweet whiskey because this is a very perfumey scent i won't even too much say it's like a vanilla really like it's not it's not really not a true vanilla so if you're looking like for like a gourmand vanilla this is not it this is like more perfume and i really think that you can smell the fig in there as well but i mean it's a very good scent and it's strong i feel like this can really stand on its own i really if you did not want to you did not have to even pair any perfumes with this so this is a good one and i just brought this because this is like very versatile i'm gonna eventually get me some like regular lotion but for right now this is just gonna do as like a little base lotion so since i am trying to use this stuff up i did go ahead and bring my mary cookie and this is the last year's version of mary cookie so this is the version from 2020 that did not have the lemon in it. This is just the same exact notes as Christmas cookies. Mm, it just smells really good. And honestly, I have Christmas cookies with me, but I just brought this because I'm trying to use it all up. And I do actually have the spray to go with it as well that I'm almost out of, but it is not over here with me. It's actually over there on the bed. And we're not gonna waste any time picking that up but i do have this little scent with me and this is actually my scent of the day so make sure you let me know in the comments what your scent of the day is next i brought my into the night body cream i did not bring any of my shower gels for some reason i don't know why but i brought zero travel size shower gels and i just got a brand new into the night shower gel so yeah that was an l on my part but i did bring this because of course like a very deep raspberry it also has like musk and cocoa and just all types of good things to wear in the winter time so i thought this would be perfect you know if i go out at night time and you know it's chilly or whatever but so far my fantasy of it being really brisk and cold has not been really the theme here like it's really been in the 50s and it's actually going to be 65 here soon so and then just to pair with it, I actually brought Very Sexy Night. I feel like Very Sexy Night and Into the Night pretty much go together really well. This has plum and apple in it as well as Velvet Woods. So honestly, this one is like a more um, perfume scent. It's not as sweet as Into the Night because Into the Night has like that nice vanilla in there as well. And this just, I mean, I really can not smell that apple, but it's like a perfume apple. I'm not a big apple person at all. Some people don't like this scent. They said that it smells musky, like it smells like a cologne. I beg to differ. I just think this is a very sexy grown scent. So if you have a chance to go smell this in Victoria's Secret, please go try this out. If you like musky deep perfume scents, I think you would like this. And for this to be a body mist, this really performs on me like a perfume. So I would recommend this. And they do actually have this in the perfume form, which I do have, which I left at home, 
but it is what it is but i am happy that i have this now so another fragrance mist that i brought with me was a thousand wishes because i recently got this in the mini so a thousand wishes has like a prosecco note it has a moretto cream note in it so i thought that this would be very versatile as well because into the night is a very pretty girly but also mature scent i really feel like oh it just smells so good like honestly a thousand wishes is a scent that i really forget about a lot and i do not know why because every time i wear it it's just amazing already so i'll just spray this one i just want to smell it like into the night is really their i mean into the night <laughs> a thousand wishes is really their girl and honestly she's still widely available so i feel like if you see this pick this up and they actually are coming out um, with a thousand Christmas wishes that's actually already available online. Last year I missed out on that and I will not be missing out on that this year. I only have the body cream and a thousand Christmas wishes and I want to complete my set so I can go ahead and use that body cream up. But the regular version of a thousand wishes is chef's kiss. I mean it's something about this. It's not really like a boozy scent to me. It's a creamy sweet perfume scent. It really smells like a high end perfume to me. And you will get compliments if you wear that, I promise you. So another fragrance that I brought with me that is not everyone's favorite, but I really, really love it, is Pink Berry Clouds. And yes, I know, some of you feel like that fresh air note was absolutely disgusting in this, and I am very sorry for you, but I love this one. <laughs> this smells very good to me. So this has a marshmallow note, it has strawberry, and I don't know what the fresh air is. And I can see why this would be off-putting to some people but to me this smells so good and when i smell this when i put this on myself it's strong i get compliments on it and people just know that i'm coming like i just really love pinkberry clouds it really stands out to me it's a perfect fall cold weather scent and honestly if you can still get your hands on it and you like scents like this definitely go ahead and smell it because this is not everybody's cup of tea whatsoever but you can definitely try that out for yourself to see how you like it that i brought with me was cotton candy and this is from body fantasies this is just like a very very sugary sweet super cavity inducing type of scent and it is very cheap so i did pick this up from walmart and then i did find the large bottle in um cvs so if you are a person that's looking for the large bottle of cotton candy from uh, body fantasies then you need to definitely go try and look into cvs because i know someone told me that they didn't produce this anymore and I don't remember, it was like a minute ago, it was some months and months ago that somebody told me that they were looking for like the large version so they stock up on the little minis. But if you have a CVS by you, you need to go try and find that there because I found the big bottle and I love her. So this is a really good one. So the next little set that I have, this is hot cocoa and cream and this is very fitting for the little winter vibe that I'm trying to have right now. So I know people are saying that this is not available online anymore. So you may have to go into the store to try this out because I think this is selling like hotcakes because this is just that good. This is the only chocolate scent that I have really enjoyed and I'm actually getting really, really low on the body cream. So for some reason I'm doing pretty good on the body mist, but the body cream is just getting really low. So this one to me is a very nice cocoa, true to cocoa scent. It has a nice cream in there and I just feel like you just smell like a nice cup of hot chocolate and this is like a very comforting scent to wear to bed so that is mostly what I've been wearing this for but I'll wear this at any time and I can definitely jazz this up with some other fragrances and you know mature it up with some black opium or you know if you want a more creamy type of scent you can definitely get you some vanillas in there but I feel like hot cocoa and cream is the perfect winter scent so if you can get your hands on it definitely do that because I'm gonna be getting some more of these because this body cream is gonna be gone and I'm really sad that it's not available in the large size like it was before because I slept on her I slept on her next I did bring Christmas cookies of course and this has really been growing on me this has really been like a nice fall and winter staple for me so this does have notes of creamy cookie dough almond biscotti and caramel woods so I get a lot of that cookie dough and I get a lot of caramel in this so when I put this on I just feel like I smell like a sweet 
crunchy caramel cookie and i do like to pair this with a lot of different fragrances that have caramel in it and it just gives me a nice warm cookie vibe and i really enjoy this so um christmas cookies is still available right now and i see that they finally have the lotion and everything online i don't know if i've seen the shower gel yet and if they have had the shower gel maybe it's sold out i don't know but definitely if you can get your hands on christmas cookies and you like something like a crunchy sweet caramel cookie try this out so of course i had to bring one of my new favorites and this is fireside flurries and i'm really sad because my lotion is actually being delivered to the house um well it's supposed to be delivered last thursday but let me tell you laser ship i don't know why they keep on having like issues with my packages laser ship hasn't been having my package since last thursday at my local facility and they have not dropped it off to my house yet and i do not know why so i'm probably gonna give them until tomorrow and then i'm calling bath and body works and seeing like if there's anything they can do because i don't understand why the package has just been in limbo but anywho Fireside Flurries. Christmas are toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. So I have been asked if this makes me think of Bonfire Bash. So what I will say about this, I mean, it has the lightest, lightest, lightest amount of smoke. It is not identical to Bonfire Bash at all. I feel like they are similar, but they are not the same. Like this is a much fluffier, lighter, prettier um, marshmallow, even though I do absolutely love Bonfire Bash. So. If you, if Bonfire Bash was too much for you, I would definitely say try this one out because this is just so pretty. It's so fluffy and I love it. And I definitely will be stocking up on this because I mean, this is like the perfect marshmallow scent. And when I seen the lavender in here, I did not think that it was gonna be such a nice fluffy white marshmallow, but it truly, truly is. And I love this. So last but not least, I have wore this days in a row and I don't even do that anymore. I don't even do that. Like I switch up my fragrances a lot, but since I am on this trip and I am limited with the fragrances that I have, of course I've been having to get, you know, creative, but this, I've been wearing this a lot. So this is Joy, AKA Sugared Snickerdoodle. I have been in love with this. I don't know what's been going on, but this has smells so good to me. This is like, at first it was just okay to me. And then I don't know, it's just like the perfect sugar snickerdoodle scent. I just don't even understand how they did it, but this smells like a soft sugar snickerdoodle. So the fragrance notes for this are snickerdoodle spice creamy vanilla and sugar musk so i like i told you guys before i didn't smell any spice in here whatsoever and i still don't when i put it on but this is just like a nice soft cookie like a nice baked soft cookie if you like to smell like a cookie I would try sugar snickerdoodle out like this is such a good one i just don't even understand like i first initially did like a review on this i just was like hmm, you know it's okay i was definitely wishing for more but once i started wearing this on my body i have been in love with it it has definitely been giving me that wow factor and i have really been enjoying it a lot and i i will say that it's not like a super strong cookie it's not like a super strong scent by any means but i feel like it's strong enough it, it does what it's supposed to do it's not like an overpowering cookie at all but of course i drench myself so i'm gonna project regardless and i layer and everything so i feel like i'm just i'm still gonna project but this sugar snickerdoodle is a winner and i feel like i need more and that is my problem now because whenever i really start enjoying something i want backups i never want to be without it and I love it so that's definitely gonna be a problem so I'm gonna need some more hopefully they are available at semi-annual sale and we can get jiggy with that and hopefully it's all good so I hope I find some more of this but anywho those are all the fragrances that I have on my trip with me and I am vlogging my trip so I'm probably gonna have another video out by the end of this week because I am doing like a week vlog so hopefully we do some more things that are worthy of getting recorded because we've really been chilling since we're here for so long we really haven't been doing like a lot of stuff yet we've just been chilling so that's why i have not been in front of the camera but i digress i will leave that to the vlog so make sure you guys check that out as well because i do have a little shop with me going on in there but if you want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye guys